Hey guys, it's Phaedra from All Things Phaedra, and I am normally talking to you about cars, travel, or entertainment, and today I'm talking to you about hair. So if you're interested in any of those, including hair, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can come back for more ridiculous stuff just like this. Let's face it, we're all under lockdown, we're all under quarantine, we're all under stay-at-home orders, and I hope you are staying at home, but I also hope that you are using this time to take advantage of not seeing anybody. Now is the time to be experimenting with your hair, with your makeup. I can't tell you how many YouTube tutorials I've done with like weird braid things and I mean even, even pigtails, which I wear sometimes, but I mean, now is the time, guys, to try something new. You want to play around with your makeup? You want to pluck your eyebrows? You want to draw on your eyebrows? Now is the time. And so today, what I want to talk to you about is your hair color, because chances are your hair is probably not looking that great right now. So here's what happened to me. Last November, right before I hit my birthday, I got a hair cut, I got a hair color, I had been doing highlights, which gave me some blonde on the ends, and I wanted to change up the shade a little, and here's what I showed my hairstylist. Now, my hairstylist is great. She really is, but she didn't quite nail it with the highlights and the hair color. So she changed up the tone of the blonde, but it wasn't really what I wanted. This is what it looked like after I got my hair done back in November. So it wasn't exactly what I wanted, and I thought maybe what I'll do is I'll get some sort of toner to make it a little bit darker and a little bit redder. That's kind of what I was going for. And I had a friend that's been using Overtone for quite a while. So I googled and I searched and I looked for videos and I looked for blog posts and I read reviews and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go with ginger. I'm going to go with something that's going to give me this darker tone and you know what, it was the wrong color because it turned my hair orange, like bright orange as you can see. After I got the orange out, I decided to go for rose gold for brown. And what that did was it gave a little bit of color to my dark hair, and it gave a lot of color to the ends. So I did that for quite a few applications, and then I said, you know what? While I'm under quarantine, now is the time to have fun with my hair color. So I am going to do a pastel purple, and I'm gonna show you what Overtone is all about if it's something that you're new to. So Overtone does offer sample sizes on their website. There are little tiny jars. It's good for me for probably most of, of one use. I could probably get most of it on my head to try it out, but it's really meant if you have like, if you wanna do some strands and you wanna see how the color is going to look, you can kind of keep it hidden until you decide if you like that. I did that with the rose gold and I did that with the pastel purple. What I found with the pastel purple, as you can see from this photo, is that you just really couldn't see it. So we're going to make some modifications this time and I'm going to show you how to make the most of your overtone coloring. Here's my box and it says we almost put a mirror here but you already know how good you look, right? Here's what it looks like. You get very little instructions and you get a jar that looks like this. So this is Overtone Pastel Purple. I do want purple in my hair and Overtone for the purple comes in three different shades. It has, I think it's Extreme Purple, Vibrant Purple, and then this, which is more like a lavender color. So that's what I want. Now, when I tried it before, it didn't really do much for my hair color and that just tells me that I need to leave it on longer. So what is Overtone? Overtone is a pigment depositing conditioner. It's not a hair dye, it's not a permanent color. Depending on how light your hair color is, you could consider it semi to demi permanent. I'm not a professional, by the way. But it is meant to be temporary. The reason why I don't fully say it is temporary, and that's because if you have really light hair, then it may not wash out completely, okay? 
So um, be prepared for those results. So here's the thing about overtone. It is a color depositing conditioner. That means it will not dry your hair out. It's good for your hair and you cannot possibly leave it on too long. For me, it's very vibrant for the first few days. It fades fairly significantly by the first week and then by the second week, you can barely see a hint of it left. So keep that in mind. This jar for my hair, which is not terribly thick or terribly long, I can use for three different applications. So depending on the length and the thickness of your hair will depend on how much you get out of one jar. It also comes with instructions that look like this. And on this side, you will find really nothing. It just says, strand test and if you're happy with the strand test go for it so it tells you apply the conditioner from root to tip hang out for 5 to 15 minutes then rinse for results the other thing that comes in your box is this little packet it says overtone scared of stains wrap it up so what comes in here are little disposable gloves and trust me when i say use them Otherwise, your hands will be whatever color that you have ordered. It will be all over your hands and it will take quite a while to fade. So use these gloves. All right, enough chat. We're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Now, they recommend that you start with clean, dry hair. Well, guess what? I'm not gonna get in the shower and wash and dry my hair just to do this and get back in the shower and rinse it off. So I usually will just brush it out. My hair's not terribly dirty. And then I'm going to apply the conditioner. And this time I'm probably, I let it sit for 10 minutes last time. I'm probably gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes this time. And then I'm gonna get in the shower, rinse it off, give it a regular shampoo, which I think normally they don't want you to shampoo right away, but I'm gonna do a regular shampoo, and then I will do a regular conditioner, and we will see how it looks. But first, I gotta put on something that I don't care about getting stained, because you will get stains. All right, here's my pro tip. I put on my old painting shirt, because I don't care what I get up on the collar here. I'm also braless and pantsless because as soon as I'm ready to rinse, the shirt's coming off and I'm going right into the shower to rinse off the conditioner. Here we go. So here's our coloring. Keep in mind that this is when the danger begins because any place that this color gets will stain. So we're talking about your bathroom countertop, your hands, your face. I usually keep a wet tissue or paper towel nearby so I can wipe it off as I get it anywhere. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna open up our gloves and apply. As you can see, the real trick here isn't the amount that you put on, but making sure it covers each individual strand. I did the best I could. I may have missed a few spots. I have been known to comb it through before, but I almost think that combing it 
remove some of it from the strands, so I'm just gonna keep it as is. And even though I've been working it in, I'm just now going to start the clock. They recommend five to 15 minutes, and I think it's gonna depend on the intensity of color that you want and how light your hair color is to begin with. I've already done a sample test of this at 10 minutes, and I want something more intense, so I'm gonna go for 20 minutes. So I will see you in just a few. That's it. It's been 20 minutes and I'm ready to give it a rinse. Hair is clean and dry and we can't see much of the color yet so I'm going to wait until it's dry and styled and come back and show you the results. Well I'm back. The hair is dried. It's actually day and I probably picked the least dramatic hair color for this video. In fact, I'm having a hard time seeing some of the purple. So I did choose pastel purple and you can see the tone a little bit. I'm gonna actually take a look at the hair color outside. But one thing that I'll tell you about coloring your hair is that to really bring it out, you're going to wanna put just a little bit of curl in it. It just, it just goes better. So, I just add a little bit of curl here and there, and then you can kind of finger through the curls if you want. We'll do this side as well. And with that, we've got a new fresh color. In this case, it's just kind of a hint of a color. I'm a little disappointed actually. I was hoping that by leaving it on as long as I did, you could see a little bit more of the purple. I think I need to go a little bit bolder because you know what? I've got the time for it. So I'd love to hear if you have tried overtone before, what your results have been. And if you haven't tried overtone, are you thinking about it? Because now's the time to do it. And also, what color should I do next? I think I'm ready for bold. Quick tip, if you do have dark hair and you wanna use the darker color, it will make your overall color darker, which is why I went with something like pastel purple. But if you want something more dramatic, especially if you have some dark hair, you can see a little bit of a purple tint here, then you may wanna go for the brown hair color. That's what I got for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next hair adventure.